Hello everyone, welcome, I hope you're all well. I've decided this spring cleaning is overrated. Oh, it's just taking forever. So I'm stopping for another snippet because <laughs> I couldn't resist. <clears throat> so I'm really enjoying these. They really inspire me just to get creative for a little bit. So I'm using my rose background, background stamp set 835. So I'm going to ink that up in black. She says, honestly, everything is everywhere again because my hubby's been filling holes since we just had some windows fitted. So it's just a total mess here. So I'm just inking that background up. Now don't stress if you can't, if you don't get a perfect background, it's a background. Don't worry about it. I can't draw perfectly, but I can, I enjoy the stamps I create, so don't be don't be too critical on yourself. So there we go. I can't draw for toffee, but I love designing stamps and I love how they turn out. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. You just enjoy what you're doing. And these snippets for me really inspire me to get creative for a short while. And it doesn't half make me happy to use the stamps and not let them gather dust. It just, it does, it really makes me happy. And you're such a creative lot. The things that you come up with are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to lift that acrylic block. Just look at that for a background. Just glorious. And that's for, from somebody who can't draw for toffee. And it, they, just, they just make me happy. Right, let's just give that a blot because we're just going to work on that. So we just need to make sure that that's just blotted. I haven't got time for drying in 15 minutes. So let's just give that a nice blot. There's a nice bit of ink come off there. So make sure you give it a blot. What I'm going to do then, you know, I have these round uh, circular cutout pieces all the time. Just draw around a saucer or whatever. Decide which, which kind of circle you want to draw around. I reckon this is about two and a quarter, but you, I know you're going to want me to measure. That's if I can find it. So I'm using my um, black pit pen. Just go round a couple of times. So I've just used my black pit pen just to draw a black circle. Let me see if I've got enough time. Adding in measuring circles is not, not adding, but there you go. It is actually two and three quarters, two and three quarter inches. And what I'm going to do, just use a piece of that copier paper, just so I don't lean on there. And what I'm going to do is just add some of my Ecoline pen, just around some of the circle. Just scribble round. Can you see I'm just scribbling, nothing professional. And this is Spring spring Green 665. Thank you to Karen for telling me that there's actually numbers on the pens, which Tracy wasn't aware of. And what I'm going to do is just go round then with the Bronze Green. And I'm just adding that just to the edges. Just like so. Trust me, anything I can do, anybody can do. Anybody on the planet. So just, can you see, no thought in that. Just scribbled on there. And what I'm going to do is blend pen to pen. You know, like you would alcohol markers. So I'm colouring a little bit differently. And I'm just blending them pen to pen. Because there's moisture in that pen... I can blend pen to pen and then I can just take a little bit of water so you don't have to blend them out with water if you don't want you can just blend pen to pen because the moisture from the pen blends the two colors together so I'm just blending that out so it just sort of blends to nothing there you go anybody can do that so I love the fact that you can blend those eco lines pen to pen 
because of the moisture and it gives you a beautiful blend. What I want you to do then is I'm going to use the rose stamp, <coughs> which is sent with love, stamp set 831. And I'm just going to stamp the rose, which again, another beautiful image just in, in the black ink. Now give that a really good inking. Now, just because you're doing a snippet, don't scrimp on the techniques that I've shown you. Just make sure that you still give it a good inking and you still allow some time for it to rest on that card. Lift your acrylic block. Don't get out of your good habits. And there is your beautiful rose stamp. I adore that. So what I've done is I've cut the rose out and I've coloured it the same way as I coloured this. And I've left the leaves white, but I've coloured it in the same way that I did with that one, pen to pen, rather than blending it out with water. I'm just using some black cotton and I'm just going to just spread that out. Just twist it and spread out, twist and spread. And then I'm going to add my little rose, just give it a little bit of shape. Now, don't forget, you can't add too much adhesive to the top of your flower. Let me just, don't add too much adhesive and leave a couple of those leaves just so that they're free so that you can bend a little bit. I know you're having it in a book, but leave some of them free, just so it looks a little bit more natural. And then what we've done is, you know from this here, I've cut out the R out from there. And then I've used Stamp Set Ornithology, Stamp Set 900. And I've cut out this bird stamped in black and I've coloured the little bird with a touch of the green ecoline. Just adore that bird. And then from the rose stamp set, I've cut out the sentiment rose and I've just given it a black edge. Just makes me happy. A little bit of adhesive, just a little bit of the pin flare. You don't have to use pin flare. And what that does is, that, ro that white of that rose sentiment just breaks up the green in the background. I'm then going to add my little bird. Again, please don't add too much dimension. You don't want it so that it doesn't stick. So let's just add that bird there. And then I've got this little or for rose, which I'm then going to just tuck here. So what I'm doing is I'm making a little cluster. Now, as you know by now, when your piece has dried, don't forget just to add a few little white highlights. Just going to add, obviously you would colour, just going to add a little bit of green to that R. Again, just pen to pen. I'm just blending. So when I add the dark green, I'm going to go back with the light green and I'm just blending it pen to pen. So you'd make sure that that was dry before you try to colour. You don't do what I'm doing. There we go. So I just blend pen to pen that way. And you can just blend it out to nothing just with a little bit of water. There we go. Just love the eco lines because for, for somebody for, like me who likes simple, effective ideas, they work beautifully. We're just going to give that a splatter. There's no point splattering your white card because you're not going to see it. So you just want the splatters on the green. And then you can chuck your pen all over the place. So what you do is, let's have a look. So where you've got the rose, just add 
when it's dry, just add a few little, little touches of white, just to give it the highlight, just to give that. And you know, this is why stamps make me happy, because I know the one good thing that I am good at is stamping. I'm not a brilliant drawer, but I love stamping, and that's what I enjoy doing. And I love the fact that I can incorporate my simple I, my simple designs with my ideas. It just ma it just makes me happy. So we just want to then now let's hope Ian hasn't moved everything. Now, if you haven't got an intense pencil, you know how I always blend with an intense pencil to give the shading. Just go around with a two HB pencil. Just go around your circle with a two HB pencil or something any HB pencil, just go round and then use your paper stump just to blend that out. It will be a bit scratchy with your paper stump. You can actually get plastic paper stumps as well as the paper ones. So you can just add, look how I'm scribbling, nothing technical at all and just blend that out there you go bring your page in <coughs> from your snippet album and it will go next to that one so that's the one i did yesterday the one on the left i just adore that alstrom area that's the one on the left and this is the one on the right and what i'll do when let me just, because that's going to play with my head a little bit. Let's make sure that that is straight. When this is dry and it goes really hard, what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of shading just around the beard here. Just a tiny little bit of shading. There we go. Just so that it just pops a little bit more. And what I'll do is just keep faffing when I've got 15 minutes, just to make sure that's straight. But don't they look lovely together? Just absolutely love that. Just so you can see that. Absolutely adore it. Nice, simple idea, but you're still giving a professional touch. So I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you soon. This is, by the way, this is snippet number 13. So we've done snippet number 12. This is snippet number 13 and I'll use my stamp set to add the snippets there. So it's just, I'll add the 13 there, bring that in and I'll add the number 13. So I hope you enjoyed that. Love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.